Thank you, Addie, for sharing your beautiful music with us. What a wonderful way to begin our worship service. I'm Pastor Pam Kelsey Gossard of Emmanuel United Methodist Church, located in Camillus, New York. It's my pleasure to welcome you as we gather together to worship our God. Today is a special day as we celebrate our young people. We are so blessed by all of our young people, and we hope that they are a blessing to you as they share their gifts this day. Settle your hearts and minds now as Joey sings Step by Step. <laughs> join our hearts together in prayer. When the disciples tried to keep children from Jesus, Jesus said, let the children come to me. When the disciples wanted to send hungry people away, saying there were too many to feed, Jesus said we can feed them. When a parent whose child was in terrible trouble came to Jesus, Jesus said he would help. When a woman in poverty gave what she could, Jesus honored her generosity. We gather in the name of that Jesus who welcomed the children, fed hungry people, helped children in trouble, and recognized the gifts of who, those in poverty. On this Children's Day, let us follow him in word and in deed. Amen. And now we will hear the first scripture read by Sophia. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in the heavens through the praise of children and infants. You have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is mankind that you are mindful of them, human beings that you care for them? You have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honor. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet, all flocks and herds and the animals of the wild, the birds in the sky and the fish in the sea, all that swim the paths of the seas. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. The word of God for the people of God. Amen. Let us worship in song as Samantha plays and sings, How Majestic Is Your Name. Oh, Lord. 
Before I begin um, my lesson this week, uh, I just wanted to say that uh, as my first year in this position, it really didn't go the way we expected it to. It, it didn't go the way anybody expected it to. Um, and teaching online is much different than teaching in person. There were so many things that I had planned for this year that just ended up not really getting to happen because of having to learn online. But one thing that we were doing before we all went home was learning the books of the Bible in order. Just seems like some useful information they needed to know. And we didn't make it all the way through, but Addie and Carly decided that they wanted to learn it all anyways. And so here's a video of them reciting the entirety of the books of the Bible in order, beginning to end. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings. Then comes 1st and 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, next is Proverbs, then Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Isaiah, Job, and Isabadiah, Joel, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, last is Magi, these are the books of the Old Testament. Thanks for singing them with us. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Acts, the letters to the Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, Galatians and Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, 1st and 2nd Timothy, Titus and Philemon, Hebrews, James, 1st and 2nd Peter, 1st John, 2nd John, 3rd John, Jude and Revelation. That was great. Today's lesson is all about library cards. This is my library card. No, I don't, don't take out books in my name, but this is my library card. I've had this library card pretty much as long as I can remember. You can tell because I barely know how to sign my name on the back. And you can tell that my dog has chewed it. It's, it's, it's been through a lot, this membership card. If you don't have a library card, I highly suggest you get one. One of the greatest things about a library card is that it's available to anyone. It doesn't matter if you're young or you're old. It doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl. It doesn't matter the color of your skin. It doesn't matter where you were born. It doesn't matter who your parents are. Everyone gets a library card. Another great thing about the library is that once you become a member, you're entitled to all the benefits that comes with having a library card. Checking out books, videos, DVDs, even music on CDs. They have audiobooks these days. They have ebooks on the library. You can go to the library and just read magazines and newspapers. You can use the computer. You can do so much at the library. And you know how much it costs to join the library? Absolutely nothing. It is a 100% free service. And you know what? That's a pretty good picture of what it's like to be in the family of God. The Bible tells us that when we trust in Jesus and are united with him, we all become children of God. It doesn't matter 
If you're a boy or a girl or young or old or the color of your skin or where you were born or who your parents are, when you become a part of the family of God, we are all brothers and sisters in Christ. The Bible also tells us that when you belong to the family of God through Jesus, you are entitled to all of the benefits of being a child of God. All of the promises that God has made in his word belong to you. Isn't that great? Oh, you know how much it costs to be a family member of God? About the same as a library card. It's a gift from God. Why don't we pray? Dear Father, we are thankful that we can become your children through faith in Jesus Christ. We are thankful that it doesn't matter whether we are a girl or a boy or the color of our skin. We are thankful that in Christ we all become one. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now join Pastor Pam as she leads us in an affirmation of faith. I was looking on the internet for an affirmation of faith that would be child-friendly or young people-friendly. And I came across Henrietta's UCC Church, and they have their confirmation class write their own affirmation of faith every uh, confirmation year, and they had them online. And so I'd like to share this one from Henrietta's UCC confirmation class of 2009. We believe in God, the creator of everything, who wants us to be the best we can be, but forgives us when we mess up, who protects and heals us and is really cool and awesome. We believe that God came to earth in Jesus, who stood up against injustice and gave himself for others, who lived and died and rose again to show us how much God loves us. We believe in God's Holy Spirit, who is with us always, who calls us to love each other and to take care of the whole earth, who guides us and gives us courage, who walks with us and gets us through hardships and keeps on loving us no matter what. Let us listen now as Sophia sings, We'll Never Walk Alone. And now we will hear Kelly read our second scripture. This is a reading from the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verses 16 through 20, the Great Commission. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, 
and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. This is the word of the Lord. And now Pastor Pam will speak with Emmanuel's 2020 graduates. I'm so pleased to be able to share interviews with two of our senior graduates with all of you. We're going to start with Alexa. Hi, Alexa. Hi. So I want to ask you, hi, I want to ask you a few questions and uh, then you can share your answers with everybody. Okay. All right. Let's start with what is your best memory of church? Uh, the Christmas Eve service when I went with my grandpa and we were lighting the candles, singing the um, song from the hymns. Um, the nice. Christmas pageants were fun. And then um, I think my most favorite memory is that I grew up in a church with people who cared about me. Um, they were always checking in after um, service, and they were asking, like, how am I? And I like the cookies and the snacks and the cheese balls. <laughs> awesome. That's great. Thank you. So what are you, you've been to Casa Wasco. What is your best memory at Casa Wasco? I have two. Um, one is going to Solid, and we were doing tree fall with my youth group. And then the second was, I think I went in a week in July during my junior year. We went snorkeling. We went, um, we swam in the lake. We went canoeing. That was my, that was fun. Awesome. You like the water. Yeah, it was a uh, beach bond. Great. Awesome. Good for you. So tell me, who is a person that has influenced your faith life and how has that person influenced your faith? Definitely um, Carol Doucette. She was our Sunday school teacher and youth group leader when I was in sixth grade. Uh, she made it fun. We were singing. We played games. We went to Casa Wasco and we heard bands. We sang Christmas carols at the Cremos Ridge. And then the, uh, my favorite was the sleepovers. We were a lot of fun at church. And also Mr. Paoli, he makes Sunday school fun and youth group fun. Nice. Nice. Great. They're good. two good people. I like them too. <laughs> When you hear the phrase, love your neighbor, what does it mean to you? Be kind. Mm -hmm. What advice do you have for other young people? I definitely join youth group. I enjoyed all six years of it. Get involved. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And tell us, what are your plans after graduation? Um, I'm going to OCC for mechanical engineering. And hopefully go to get my bachelor's at SUNY Polytech afterwards. Good. That's great. Wow. That sounds very difficult to me. <laughs> but good for you. I know you're a good student and you'll do well. Thank you. You're welcome. I'd like to say a prayer now, if I may. So let's pray. Holy and loving God. We pray for your blessing upon Alexa as she begins this new journey of her life. We pray that you will guide her, support her, and love her as she seeks to be the person you created her to be. Amen. Thanks for doing the interview with us, Alexa. We wish you very well. You know your church family is way behind you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. All right. Hi, Tyreek. Hi. Hi, I'm so glad that you were able to do an interview for us this morning or this afternoon. I'm not sure when people will be watching, but I really appreciate that you're able to do this with us. So let's uh, start, get started. And uh, the first question that I have is, what is your best memory of church? Church, um, my best memory would probably be all the like acolyte lock-ins and stuff and going through like, uh, it's like an overnight at Castle Bosco. So it made it more exciting to learn and have fun. Nice. Very good. Yeah, those can be a lot of fun. Speaking of Casa Wasco, what's your best memory of Casa Wasco? Um, my best memory would probably be when we go on like the white water rafting trip, I think, when I did that, the Thailand's one. That uh, was probably my favorite one. It was pretty cool. Nice. You know, I took Ashley uh, Davis, went on a whitewater rafting trip one time, and uh, she was the first one to pop out of the raft. It was awesome. <laughs> so tell me, who is the person that has influenced your faith life, and how has that person influenced you? 
my grandpa probably because he's been taking me on mission trips since a young age and teaching me a lot about my faith and about just life in general and it's allowed me to grow as a person yeah nice when you hear the phrase love your neighbor what does it mean to you um it means don't act like literally love your neighbor but like you just have to treat everybody the same and like probably just every how god would want you to treat everybody and don't be mean for no reason Accept people for who they are yeah nice very good what advice do you have for other young people live life step by step and enjoy it the whole way because it goes by pretty quick it goes faster the older you get, in case you were wondering. <laughs> what are your plans for after graduation? After graduation, I'm going into the Army National Guard, and then I'll be going to college at Alfred University. That's wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you. It's a very exciting time. Yep. If it's okay with you, I'd like to say a prayer. So let's pray. Heavenly creator, you have made each one of us in your image, holy and loved. We pray for your blessing upon Tyreek as he embarks on this next part of his journey. We pray that you will guide him, support him, and love him as he seeks to be the person you created him to be. Amen. Thank you again, Tyreek. I really appreciate you spending some time with me this morning. And I'd just like to say a few words in the scripture that Kelly read before we uh, started. Jesus tells the disciples to go and make disciples of the all nations. It's easy to see how Alexa and Tyreek will be doing just that as they take their memories of Emmanuel and Casa Wasco, their faith handed down to them from their families, and the love of God as they go out into the world. We send them with words that Jesus also shared saying, remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. They do not go alone, but are always held in the loving arms of God. Our future is bright and our hope is alive. Thanks be to God. Amen. Let us pause now for a time of prayer with Pastor Jack. Well, thanks, Pastor Pam, and thanks all of our young people who have uh, provided such a wonderful time of worship for us today. Didn't they do just a great job? You know what, Emmanuel, we are so blessed to have such active and wonderful children and families and volunteers who work in our Kids Club program. Uh, we are truly blessed. And I want to ask you if you will join your heart with mine in a time of prayer. And this morning I'm using a prayer written for the Children's Defense Fund all the way back in 1995. The author of the prayer is Ina Hughes, and it's a great prayer for all of us this morning. So will you join your heart with mine in prayer? Oh God, we pray for children who sneak popsicles before supper who erase holes in math workbooks, who can never find their shoes. And we pray for those who stare at photographers from behind barbed wire, who can't bound down the street in a new pair of sneakers, who never counted potatoes, who were born in places where we wouldn't be caught dead, who never go to the circus, who live in an X-rated world. We pray for children who bring us sticky kisses and fistfuls of dandelions, who hug us in a hurry and forget their lunch money. And we pray for those who never get dessert, who have no safe blanket to drag behind them, who watch their parents watch them die, who can't find any bread to steal, who don't have any rooms to clean up, 
whose pictures aren't on anybody's dresser, whose monsters are very real. We pray for children who spend all their allowance before Tuesday, who throw temper tantrums in the grocery store and pick at their food, who like ghost stories, who shove dirty clothes under the bed and never rinse out the tub, who get visits from the tooth fairy, who don't like to be kissed in front of the carpool, who squirm in church or temple or scream in the phone, whose tears we sometimes laugh at and whose smiles sometimes make us cry. We pray for those whose nightmares come in the daytime, who will eat anything, who have never seen a dentist, who aren't spoiled by anybody, who go to bed hungry and cry themselves to sleep, who live and move but have no being. We pray for children who want to be carried and for those who must, for those we never give up on, and for those who don't get a second chance, for those we smother, and for those who will grab the hand of anybody kind enough to offer it. Lord, watch over all your children, this day and forever. Amen. Well, we're going to listen now to another great piece of music that Riley is going to offer us today. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go with me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me. No turning back, no turning back. Thank, thank you for joining us for worship today. Now listen to Pastor Jack as he gives this morning benediction. Well, thanks, Riley. That was great. Now would you receive today's blessing. May the presence of God, the Creator, give you strength. May the presence of God, the Redeemer, give you peace. May the presence of God, the Sustainer, give you comfort. And may the presence of God, the Sanctifier, give you love. Now and forevermore. Amen.
Thank mm-hmm. you.